Yes, yeah, 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 at the Sanctuary or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, so that show happened, and it was like it ignited this, I just ignited uh, an experience. Yeah. Like I hadn't booked a show in five years. Right, right. And going to that show, seeing Young, seeing Moore, yeah. sold out. I think everybody was, you know, hyped on word. Just the fact that even um, Sanctuary is yeah, I think I think for sure that since oh, you guys, I'm sorry. No, that's right. Uh, I think since COVID, first I think COVID had some effect to it, right? When you take away something that you take for granted, I think everybody appreciates it more. Um, I think there's a big shift in hardcore with like younger bands that they're doing great, and I think it's an awesome thing. So there's like a whole new way of doing it. You know, I mean, you take a band like Turnstile, we did a tour with them like, in 2014, maybe with um, Apple. And now, now they're the gonna, You know what I mean? And, and oh, that's what I, I yeah. remember it was Turnside or Dream. Uh, but st- I mean, they're all yeah. playing. I think Turnside, I don't know if they did this show last year. But my point is, like, I think there's just like a lot of young bands, and people are really feeling it. Uh, and the energy is good, right? It's not like super violent. It's not, it's not one or the other. It just seems like people are excited. Turnouts are good. And I think it's a good thing. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know if it's. I mean, I know for me personally, when COVID happened, because you would never think like oh, hardcore shows would go away, and they did. So when it came, when, when, when things opened back up, I was like very excited. And I think you see a lot more people showing up to shows and stuff because you, you take it for granted sometimes. Like, yeah. yeah. Or like people's biggest, their biggest worries were who's coming through. For sure. And like they felt like they had this. All since it's like yeah. they, they can pick and choose what show. Well, yeah, yeah, because you'd not go to every show because yeah. you'd be like, oh, well, oh, I'm right. busy or I'm there, you know, whatever. I'm only going to go to the cool Yeah, show. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. now it's like, it seems like people are just attending everything. And, and you are seeing a, a mix of like younger and older bands and like bands making comebacks with the young bands that are just popping. I think it's a really cool time. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. Like, I did my birthday show on my 50th birthday. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I did. I had two young bands. Yeah. I think that's the way to do it. Like, you know, when you do tours, like, you know, we came through Detroit last time, we had Cruel Hand, which isn't very they're, young. They're, they're first time I've seen it. They're, they're from Grand Rapids. Yeah, yeah, they opened that show up, yeah. Man, I mean, they're, you know, and that's the, and, and that's what I, like I sat down with Jim this, this morning, Poison Tongues, and, uh, you know, I just, I, it, it inspired me, you know, I, I just turned 50, and I mean, hardcore is just as important to me today. As yeah, you know. for sure, same, I'm 44, so I feel and, and, and not everybody, but not everybody's like that. Right. And, and I've always been that type where, you know, it, it didn't matter to me if you're straight edge, vegan, none of, none of that, our, I felt like that was our personal choice. For sure, I agree. You know what I mean? That's how I always look that. You know, and, and so, like, well, when we're at a show, I don't feel like anybody should ever go to a show and not feel like for sure. Because that's why we go. Right, that's our home. To get rid of work. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's our street. That's the yeah, like, Anything you know, that's going on. And, um, you know, just talk to some of the young kids about, you know, how it was when we came up. Not yeah. talking at Yeah, yeah, no, just explain it. Because I don't, I don't want them to have to go to, you know, we're about to get stabbed. Right, like, to get to because the venue's in a certain part of the town that you might get killed. Yeah, yeah. But just, right. just to have that knowledge. In the perspective of it. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, I mean, what did you guys see, like, on this tour, you know, as far as, like, that, that main city? Uh, this tour's been good, yeah. We've played a lot of smaller uh, cities, I'll say, uh, as well as major cities, but there's a lot of diversity out there. And it's cool, because people come in, younger people without, like, a... Some might not even know us, they might have heard the names, they don't know much about us, and they stick around and just have fun. And I think the element of people being there to watch all the bands and just have a good time is a really cool thing. Uh, and it shows on the store. Plus, we're out with like, you know, hold my own. Like, even though they've all been in different stuff, they're like as young as they are. And uh, exit strategy from Florida, which is a little on the heavier side of stuff. It's just a cool mix. Yeah, uh, like when I, uh, I was looking, uh, looking the show for the uh, 15th uh, uh, Sanctuary, and like Evan from, well, Evan from Wisdom and James, yeah. but. Also, like King King's King's never uh, he reached out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just like all these things are happening and all these big like tie downs gonna be in the Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Uh, a couple other big things you know yeah. happening, but it was just like um, it, it, it 
it was like it, it ignited everywhere. Yeah, it seems like Detroit's really popping off right now, for sure. I think I think everywhere is, but there's certain cities that have a little more going on. With like you said, with tie down going on, it's like a destination festival that you know, kids are loving it. Uh, like the smaller shows that are going on. It, it also happens there's like a lot of younger bands coming out of Detroit right now and I think younger bands really help because you know they get the new kids that maybe not be able to tell their friends and have been shows we have to cultivate that otherwise it dies yeah I, I've always been a big uh, supporter of younger bands I think it's super in not even just like we're on tour in, in Boston we do have a lot of younger bands and it's super important because um, like without them and I've seen this happen. So, like you said, I was a store. So, for example, we played Evansville in the I haven't been at Evansville in 15 years. It was great back then. And I don't know what they've done in between, but I've seen small... I don't mean it in a negative way, but I've seen these small cities where they'll pop up and uh, young bands and bigger bands will come through and the shows will be great. But if they don't keep on cultivating those young bands, I've seen cities like that like die off. There was this place called uh, Johnson City, Tennessee, Years ago, we'd go there. It's great. A lot of bands. It was a small city, so eventually, like people move away. Someone didn't start new bands, and now there's no shows. You know that I know. Like you know what I mean. Um, so that's why the youth is very important. And of course, like you know, I think there's something to be said for like the older bands too, because they've been doing it forever. And it, like, um, like you said, when you talk to them and you tell them about how it was, you're not. You're not telling them. You're just yeah, having a to, It's a perspective thing. But we all come from this world because, like, hardcore is my life. Like, I love hardcore. But I always say this, like, I'm 100% about hardcore. And I still consider it, like, my world. But it's also their world. Uh, and if, and, and when I say they, like, younger kids are, like, super thriving. And I think that, I think it's great. I think the energy is great. I think, I think... It kind of reminds me of like the '90s, where people were all dressed different, and it's not like uh, you see like you see all these goths different, and like yeah. punks yeah. and like and I let's call them alternative yeah. dress people because like back in the day we would have the punks and like the goths and like you know the, the skinheads and it's funny because I was talking I was talking to him earlier and like sometimes you like you'll see a kid walk in and you've got like like khakis or some like yeah. shirt from a secondhand store yeah. and like the, the glasses, yeah. but you know. That's yeah, exactly. they're almost like sleepers. One hundred percent. But also, what I'm trying to do is get the, the young bands we're talking about yep. on stages with the savage bands. For sure. So that they they learn the etiquette. Yeah. They learn the process. And, and they see that also it might help for them like touring wise because if they're just like a new band and they just yeah. play locally, they can see how to get out there and tour. So that's why like we put packages together. Like when we did the cool hand thing, we brought you early. Like, not that they're like brand new, but I was trying to bring some younger bands out. A, it helps us, but B, it's like they can kind of see how we do or how things were for us or how, you know, how things go. So it's good. Another thing I'm trying to do is it's like when everybody, when it, anybody thinks of Michigan, yep. it's always deep. Yep. But there's so many years like Cal was doing with Grand Rapids. Yeah, Robert, Flint, Flint, Flint back in the day. Yeah, you know, there's a great band from Flint playing my next show, We Will Rock. Okay. Great metal. So I'm trying to kind of do that too, We're not everything is about the tour. Yeah, which you is know, good because like, even in Massachusetts, like Boston, Massachusetts, yeah. we have Massachusetts. So like, who likes Boston, Boston? I've been a big provider of Brompton. Yeah. Oh, that's where I'm technically from, but where we used to practice. And, uh, this Worcester, which is an hour from Boston. It was hitting folks for a while. But you're right, like, embracing those other cities and bringing those bands together to, to tour, uh, to play together, or, you know, it gets kids from Ann Arbor to drive to Detroit. Because Detroit might not be able to sustain. You never know, right? People got other things going on, but it's super important. And then, then all of a sudden, it's been like a band from Detroit. You go, I'm going to play, do a weekend for a fling. You know, play different parts of school. And that's a, that's part of the reason I'm here too is to talk to you and Joe about kind of kind of bring you know bring that radius a little bit because it's only an hour away. It's an hour away, and plus when I'm bringing bands in, yeah. you know, from out of state, instead of saying, "Hey, can you come all the way across the country?" You know, right. Have up to long days. Right. So Make it a weekend. Exactly. Yeah. They're getting more shows. Yeah. No, I think that's important too. Yeah. So so building those. 
I agree. Uh, yeah. I think uh, one of the biggest things, uh, you know, kind of kind of happened in the first round is you said, and I thought about it the other day, you know, you know, we're it's, it's almost like we went home, but you know, I felt like Detroit was under come up again. Yeah. And I'm just like, fuck, it, come on, it's, you know, it's like a revolution. Yeah, yeah. Because like we were saying, like that that little show I did for my birthday. I had to actually push the first thing because everybody was milling around. That's awesome. You know, and it's like you go to you know, all the shows. It's like people are saying, oh, start to catch up and going to Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think I feel like there's a lot of places that are doing that right now. I can't say every, I mean, you know, sometimes it's like the Dutch, it is what it is, but not super important, I think, having strong cities like that and then branching out to other cities, like you said, Toledo, like whatever the case is. So, like, people start trying to almost keep that going. And there's a couple bands coming in later, just like where they, they were here during COVID. Yeah. And the show's shit. Yeah. yeah. So, and everybody's like, oh, the last time we met, last time we met here. Well, that's because things were getting canceled on the drop of a COVID. Yeah, yeah. And nobody knew. Like, you know, even when they were like, oh, things were open, then there'd be another wave and then things got shut down again. So it, it was a really tough time to navigate. And a lot of people were just really just the house, you know, where now it's like you could probably do that. Yeah, we were, I, you know, I, think, I think a lot of it is, you know, COVID now is kind of like it's, Kind of like yeah, it's turned into as far as manageability. Yeah, yeah, manageability. Yeah, there's a lot more stuff out there, and it's like, and also it's like, it obviously seems like the trajectory is a little better. Not that people don't have it, and it's like learning to navigate life with it, right? Because it's not going anywhere. Um, so I feel like all that stuff we look forward to. It. So, like, what if, if you had like advice for these young fans coming up? Or if not five minutes, but I'm yeah. down yeah. No, no, you're good. Um, advice for like Just, I, I say like, first thing to do is just have fun. Um, you can just play shows and have fun. And then if you want to take it serious, um, try, try hard. Like, you know what I mean? Connect with other bands, be approachable, uh, support other bands. Uh, go to shows because that's how people recognize you. Like, oh, I want to put this band on my show. Uh, yeah, yeah, not especially not like I'm 44 and I still try to catch as many shows that come through and not just like oh my friends' bands like oh some young bands rolling through Boston. Uh, and I think that's really important because when people see you at shows, they know you're supporting it and they're gonna want to support you. And you should be in a show with Ignite that fire plan. Oh, what's that? Look Right, 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 right. Yeah, I think it's very important to like help younger bands, uh, help each other, right? Meet other bands, try to do a weekend out of it. Let me, how are you? Catch up. Yeah, I'll see you in a minute, brother. Um, try to like, you know, like network. Like you said, like if you're from Detroit, you get to play with a band from Ann Arbor, you're like, yo, let, let us play here. And then make a week of that stuff. And then you, you build those bonds. You know, that the young man's are learning on that those things. Yeah, exactly. Like the weekends and all that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, I just, I, I just feel like I'm a very positive vibe. And that's the other thing. Like, keep it positive, right? Even if you have a bad show. And there's, say there's 10 kids. And those 10 kids are excited. So just like, don't act like it's the end of the world. Uh, I think that's important too. Every show matters. Uh, it doesn't matter how well it's ended, how bad it's ended. Like, just have fun. Just have fun. Show. That's it. All right, well, I appreciate it, my man. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I wanted to get here early. We have more time, my brother. We'll see each other soon.